All right. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for attending this webinar. Everybody's been excited to learn all about this. Um, today we have Ben, I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name and mess it up, but you, I'll let you finish introducing yourself. And then um, they're going to, he's going to present and Ted as well. And then they're going to open it up for just open discussion. So if you'll hold your questions, you feel free to put them in the chat. So in case you don't want to forget them and we'll address them and um, take it from there. Thank you, Ben. Thanks. Thank you so much for having me uh, and us, I should say. Um, I know most of you probably want to hear from Ted about how he uses it and what it's done for Clifton Design, but uh, I'll just do a few minutes just to briefly explain what Canvas is. I'm Ben, and I lead marketing for the company, uh, and I love doing uh, these webinars with industry groups like Pro because uh, you are the communities that talk to each other and talk about uh, exciting new developments and innovations. So Canvas is an app that basically replaces hours of measuring with a few minutes of scanning. Oh, I didn't even realize I'm wearing the same sweater uh, today. <laughs> uh, well, that makes it even that much more exciting. But um, this is how you scan. And instead of spending hours measuring, you just go through the space like this. And then uh, what you get is a fully editable design ready as built, such as this SketchUp model here of that space in as little as one day. And so uh, that's what Canvas is in a nutshell, but let's just do a brief overview about what 3D scanning is. It's creating a 3D replica of a real world space or object. And you may have heard it called 3D capture, reality capture, 3D or interior mapping. It's all the same thing. And the result that you get from those is typically either a point cloud or a 3D mesh, which allows you to see what that space is like, but those aren't immediately editable but you can still use a 3D scan for documentation and surveys, pulling measurements and some initial planning and design. And when you think about 3D scanning, you probably associate it with these tripod based scanners. Uh, the way these work, if you imagine you've got a handful of laser distance meters spinning around at a high rate of speed, pulling in every measurement that it captures. These can sometimes achieve millimeter level accuracy, but they started around $19,000 and go way up from there. They're also time consuming to learn how to use and train. And typically you need to set it, have it do a 360 spin, move it seven feet, do it again and again. So it can be very time consuming. They're also heavy and bulky and the deliverable you get is that uneditable point cloud. So the new frontier is with mobile 3D scanning. So the iPad Pro and the iPhone Pro now have integrated LiDAR sensors which basically send out invisible beams of light and measure how long it takes to come back to the phone or iPad, and that's how it determines depth. And so it captures thousands of measurements per second wherever you point the camera. It's 99% uh, accurate, which is typically accurate enough for most use cases, and I'm sure Ted can get into that in a little bit. Uh, it's also inexpensive. If you don't already have an iPad Pro or an iPhone Pro, an iPad Pro is an $800 investment, which when you hear about what it does, I think quickly pays for itself. And unlike having to lug a big piece of equipment around, it fits in your, in your pocket or in a bag. And so Canvas uses that LiDAR scanner, uh, and it is a free app to download, and it's free to scan. It lets you capture 3D models of rooms in seconds and entire homes in about 20 minutes with 99% accuracy. Um, sorry, excuse me one moment. <clears throat> um, it has a built-in affordable service that takes that scan and turns it into editable uh, as-built in formats that you're used to and that most of you already use, like Chief Architect. Uh, it's also built for professional users like designers, remodelers, and architects, uh, but it isn't that hard to learn how to use. It's not like learning how to use Chief Architect. It's a lot easier than that. And we're primarily used for capturing residential interiors, but we have been used to capture data centers, warehouses, um, and you can also do exteriors with some limitations as well. And so, as I mentioned, Canvas takes the scans that you perform and turns them into fully editable, organized uh, CAD and uh, floor plan files. Uh, we can turn them around in as little as one day, depending on the square footage. There's no subscription required. You pay as you go. So uh, you only pay for it on a per project basis. 
and you pay by the square foot and that's based on the floor area of the space. So it's 18 cents a square foot for a 3D file like Chief Architect and 12 cents a square foot for a 2D file. Uh, so 2000 square foot home would be about $360. Uh, we directly support SketchUp, Chief Architect, Revit 2020. We just started supporting ARCHICAD, and I don't know if any of you are Vectorworks users. We're going to be launching Vectorworks support in a little bit. In the case that some of you work in 2D, our 2D floor plans are delivered as a PDF and an AutoCAD file. And if you don't use design software at all, we have a measurement report, which is sort of like a floor plan on steroids. It's a floor plan, and then in, for each room, we give you a list of all the dimensions of every door, window, wall, uh, wall segment, openings, uh, countertops, that type of thing. And for our files, they're organized as if you had made them yourself. So they use industry standard program specific conventions, native families, tags, layers, however you uh, call them in whichever app you use. And the idea is we present you with a blank slate for structural with structural and built in details. So you'll get everything that's built in and attached to the walls. You won't get furniture like beds or desks and that type of thing. Uh, you don't have to scan a whole house in one go. You can break it up into smaller pieces. And then we have the ability to merge all those scans together to create a unified CAD model of what it is that you uh, scanned. You also have the ability to submit uh, measurements or pictures or reference materials to help us make your file even more accurate. And if you're familiar with a level of detail standard, we meet a 200 LOD. So as I mentioned before, we use that LiDAR sensor. Uh, and so that has been included on every iPad Pro uh, from 2020 or newer, uh, as well as the iPhone 12 Pro or Pro Max or newer. So if I, let's see if this will work. If you look at my phone, this black dot right here below that other camera, that's the LiDAR sensor. So if you have an iPhone and you're asking yourself, I don't know what model I have. If you see that little black dot below the camera, you've got a LiDAR sensor. So scanning is pretty easy. Um, you want to prepare the space and plan your route. So uh, you want to open up all the windows and or all the interior doors, window treatments. You want to usher out people and pets. Uh, and then you want to start in a what we call a, a corner of the room, maintaining a three to 12 foot distance from the walls and basically walk around in one direction uh, in a continuous loop, doing what we call the paint the fence method. Uh, you don't want to double back or, or zigzag that can introduce inaccuracies into your scan. Um, before I turn it over to Ted, I just want to make sure that you download the correct app if you're interested. There are multiple canvases that you'll see, uh, including another version of ours that runs on Ron LiDAR phones. It is not as accurate. So for professional use case, you want to use Canvas LiDAR 3D measurements. And if you have your phone out right now and you scan this QR code, not only will it download the app, it'll automatically add this TED Pro 24 promo code which will give you $100 off your first order. Uh, at the end, I will also share a QR code that will allow you to book on a one-on-one -on -one demo. So if you are interested in getting sort of customized onboarding help, I encourage you to book a meeting instead. We will give you that promo code so you will still get $100 off your first order. Uh, and so now I'll turn it over to Ted, who is the operations manager at Clifton Design Studios, and he will talk about how he uses Canvas and what it's done for Clifton Design. Awesome, thank you, Ben. So um, I'm looking in the chat here and uh, when you guys were chiming in about who was using, I was um, blessed to see all the uh, chief architect uh, answers there. So um, also while I'm presenting, if anyone has any questions, please chat in or um, I think there's a raised hand function here and, and I'll try to answer as I go because I am watching that. Um, but um, Ben, are you are you still able to share those slides, or is that something that I'm going to be sharing from? You're on mute, Ben. You're on mute, Mr. Ben. Yes, I am getting it ready. Uh, no, I, it's a, it's a, I I exited prematurely. Um, so no problem. You got it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to pull this up here. Um, so this is. Um, basically what I, I kind of wanted to go over. I, um, uh, I kind of, in my opinion, this is, 
I don't want to turn this into a 30 minute lecture because I don't want to lose interest for, for those of you that are here with us today. And um, I, I kind of want to explain to you how we've used it, how this has changed our lives. And I, I do firmly believe in the product. I, I was asked to do this. I'm, you know, there's no, um, because I believe in the product, I was so happy to sign up to do it. Um, it's not like they're paying me all this money to do this. I'm doing, I'm here because I'm passionate, not just about Canvas, but also about Pro too. Like, you know, I, I want you guys to see me as a as a Canvas resource or, or just a resource in general for Pro. I, I think you guys have I've already enjoyed getting to know so many people in Pro for the short time we've been members. And, um, but I also think uh, what I have, what we've done with Canvas is valuable for you guys. So um, the first thing I wanted to kind of share with you guys is, what happens after the scan? So what Ben said in his spiel is there's two things I really wanted to reiterate is that the there's two parts. There's the scan and then there's the as built. It's the scan itself is completely free. And that's what I'm about to show you. It's the as built that actually costs actual money. And our company doesn't purchase as built for every single scan, but we make it company policy to scan every single job. Um, so we've gotten so efficient with this scanning and software that we actually don't do initial measurements at all. Um, the 99% accuracy is no joke. It usually gets down to about of a quarter of an inch. So if you guys are used to, I'll say, competitor methods that have measuring tools in the online that are sometimes off by five or eight inches, we have not had that problem with Canvas. And that's one of the things we're really proud about it. So I'm going to see if I can show you here. Um, I have two examples that I wanted to Kind of bring up in this particular job is one of them calling it Hillington job. <clears throat> um, so when you scan with your iPad, this is kind of like the the initial product that it produces. It's kind of this gray blob, um, and this is literally the the data that the lidar camera on your i you know your Apple device is capturing. Um, but it, in addition, what you don't see is that it's also capturing a colorized image of everything that it's scanning. Um, so I just think this is kind of cool to see because people are like, you know, oh my gosh, it's, it's truly capturing everything. But once you upload it to a website <laughs> or to the, to the cloud here, which by the way, Canvas does not charge for this cloud storage. So all some four or 500 jobs that we've scanned are still in this cloud and I can go back and search for these anytime. And I did ask Ben earlier this week, you're not ever going to charge for those, right? He promised me he never, ever, ever would charge for cloud usage. <clears throat> so anyways. Um, not it's not on our roadmap. <laughs> <laughs> not to put a foot in his mouth. But so this is what I find really, really awesome. So again, you can walk through these homes here and look at everything that's captured, ignoring these blobs. These are actually my, my people here standing. That's what that is. But um, I can walk through this just like I would a traditional other scan. It's it, the images might not look as clear as some other competitors. However, the measuring tool is very, very accurate and easy to use. So if I was trying to come in here and find out what this gap was between these two cabinets, it's as easy as a mouse click. Bam. It's, I mean, it's three foot six and three quarters. Like, and that's, I could go measure that right now. It's probably down to the eighth of an inch accurate on that. Um, it's, it's so easy to use. I can go anywhere in the room and measure almost any angle as long as I'm relatively in front from my front on point on view. Um, so we use this all, all the time, obviously, when we're trying to verify measurements and, and other items. When we're doing design reviews with our customers, um, we're using this all the time because they'll say, oh, I, I don't remember if I have this or that. Hey, no problem. Let's pull up your scan and take a look at it. Um, so this is kind of what that generates. Um, a couple of things I'd like to point out, because I'm gonna show you when we pull up the as built here in a second. This particular kitchen has a lazy Susan with a broken door. So I wanna just point that out that there is no cabinet door here. Not intentionally, it's because you know she had a son that was rowdy and climbed on it and broke it off um, among any other details that you might see. So we found a lot of value out of having just this part alone. And the part that I'm showing you is completely free. Um, again, it it can it, it allows you to skip the initial measure process. So if you're, especially if you're doing a whole floor or two floors, you might be at that job site for an hour and a half, two hours, 45 minutes of it spent with the customer, but then another 45 minutes or even longer is spent with just measuring and sketching all of the 
the casings, the windows, doorways. I don't have to do that. We don't do that at this company at all anymore. Um, so moving past this, then what you get is you get this CAD version. So this is the part that you actually have to pay for. So when we upload our scans, um, to temp, depending on the scope of the job, this is what we actually pay for. And yes, we use chief architect as well. So this is a very chief architect uh, guided. We don't, I don't use, I've used SketchIt in the past. I've used Revit a little bit, but um, chief architect is our primary go-to as well. So this is just the online viewer, but what we're going to do here is we're actually going to pull this up in chief and I'm going to show you some of the details of how that translates. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So I've got chief here and here's the, the as built from chief. This is kind of what your plan is going to come in and look, looks like, as Ben said, there's no furniture, but every window, every doorway, the cabinets, any permanent fixtures, if you're doing a master bath, all of your shower fixtures will show up. Um, let me pull up a 3D here. This is what blew my mind from the first time that I started using Chief and then even to this day, what blows my mind is the level of detail that is captured and, and how critical that is to our design planning and purposes. Remember how I showed you that Lazy Susan door that was missing? They actually took the extra time to delete that out of the, and for those of us who know, blind corners in chief can be a little bit trickier than 2020. It takes a little bit longer to get these configured right. So the fact that they would take the extra time to actually remove that door and create that same look, again, that's that's the level that these canvas as built get into. Look at the other stuff, the, the outlets, and HVAC returns and registers is another thing that blows my mind. They don't just place generic outlets. They're actually counting the number of gangs that you get. They're counting whether it's a two gang, a three gang, and they're putting it in its accurate locations. Look at the, all of the, again, HVAC returns, all the supplies, um, the detail of about the mantle on the fireplace, the fact that they put brick here to show where the brick was in the house. Um, every little bump out in the wall, they actually draw these little bump outs. They don't just skimp and just make it a straight wall. So for example, if you were putting built-ins over here, this bump out would be a very critical thing for you to know. And the fact that they capture it again, is just, and that they're willing to, the 18 cent per square foot charge that you're paying allows you to do that. Again, it, it just blows my mind. So this scan here was, I believe in the a couple of hundreds because we did the whole almost the whole first floor. But what's what's $200 of time? I would have been here for almost an, an additional hour to get all these measurements, and I didn't have to do that. I was in and out of this job in less than 45 minutes. Um, and then, uh, again, I just I can't say anything positively enough about this. And you'll see that I chose not to scan this front room because we didn't need it. Um, so they were able to just give me what I asked for, right, which is basically just the areas that I scanned. So I absolutely love that because that way I don't have to pay for square footage. I know that I'm not in a room designing. Uh, and so I did also want to show you um, what we translate this into. This was a typical, I'm sure those of you who do kitchen remodels, <laughs> uh, one of our Northern Virginia favorites is to knock out that non-load bearing wall between the kitchen and the dining room and expand the whole thing. So we're doing a lot of that right now. Uh, this job was no exception. So what we turned that into was this right here. So again, it just, it speeds up everything. That's, that's the name of the game is when you're spending money for all these um, as built, it's the, the value is, is, is in what time you save um, uh, in addition to all of the detail and the value that um, Canvas is bringing to the table. Um, so this was the first example. Uh, I'm gonna bring up another example as well, Rose Lodge, which is a little bit of a larger job, um, same thing. Let me see if there's any questions. I do not see any questions on the Zoom. Chat here. All right. Let me go ahead and close Hillington out here. Next pro. I see it. Question. Well, I'll, I'll let you finish. Uh, sure. what, what question we got? Is I saw exterior... that Matt, Matthew asked about exterior landscaping. That's for Ben. We, yeah, we don't support that yet. Uh, basically, uh, and this might be too into the weeds, but the LiDAR sensor doesn't work as well outside, and it's very hard 
to accurately uh, take that data and capture like slope uh, and grades and things like that outside. So right now we only do, uh, when it comes to the exteriors, we'll do the exterior facade of a home. We won't do, and we'll do like, let's say there is a enclosed courtyard or something like that with walls that we will model. What we won't do is sort of uh, a lawn or garden bed, uh, that type of thing. It's a good question. <clears throat> Good question, Matthew. Um, ben, I, I'll second support for that one. We're starting to get a lot more leads ever than in past years for outdoor kitchens. So I know that's starting to pick up and I would love to see that feature supported in future renditions of this for sure. All right, so Rose Lodge is the other one I wanted to share. Same thing, um, it's the right scan. So again, it's just, it's incredibly useful to see and be able to walk through all of these homes and capture all of the detail that we need to capture. Uh, this remodel is actually you know, different than the other one. Same thing, we're going to knock down that wall between the formal dining and the kitchen and then create some sort of a unified space. Um, what's really awesome, I guess the other thing I wanted to talk about was the speed it takes to do that. The previous job I showed you, the scan I think took us maybe 15 minutes tops. Um, this scan took a little bit longer. I think it was like maybe 20 minutes because it was multiple floors. Um, but let's say you guys are, if your company is just a kitchen or just a bathroom, a kitchen by itself is about four minutes. Maybe, and that's going slow. If you sped that up, you might even get it done faster, maybe three minutes of time for just one room. It's a very, 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 very fast process. So same thing, this is what the CAD looks like. And yes, you can use the measurement tool here all the time. Um, some of you might wonder, like if you're doing final measurements and initial measurements, um, we actually go and use this software as a case-by-case -case basis when we're trying to decide if do we need a final measure for this cabinetry after it's designed. Um, even if we didn't take initial measurements, if we use the LIDAR, which we know is extremely accurate, we might make judgment calls if the cabinetry is maybe not wall-to-wall -wall, such as this here, and I know that my cabinets stop about an inch and a half or two inches from the corner of the wall, a lot of times our company will make an executive decision depending on the workload at that moment, do we actually need to go all the way out to wherever this is to actually do a final measure? And more times than not, uh, in 2023, we actually started trusting it a little bit more and saying, no, um, knock on wood, we have never actually had an accuracy issue from Canvas being the cause for um, cabinetry not fitting at all. So it's, it's we really have come to appreciate um, the accuracy of the LiDAR technology. Um, so let me go ahead and pull this up in chief. This one's Rose Lodge. And then the, here's the existing. <laughs> So same thing, all of the cabinets were drawn in, all my doors, my backsplash, my switches and outlets. Notice how this time they even got the, the little phone jack and the, the type and the way the outlets and switches look. They even were able to capture that. Um, thermostats and smoke detectors, they'll throw those in there for you, um, which I think is really cool. Um, again, almost every vent register, so when you're doing your designing, it makes it very easy to remember, oh, I need to make sure I call call out a tow kick vent or, or whatever it is that you're moving for your builders. Again, it's just when you're back, when we were trying to go in a high volume, fast paced environment, it's very difficult to have time sometimes to render in each and every switch and outlet. It, that just adds so much time to the drawing. And for us to be able to order these as builds and get them back within three business, I think for these larger ones, it's about three business days for us sometimes four business days at most. Uh, but that's, I mean, to me, that's so incredibly worth it. And so then I can show you what we turned this one into as well. Ted, Matthew asked, you did this scan in one go and it wasn't spliced together? So good, in this particular scan, no. So we, you cannot scan multiple floors in one go. I think that's a pretty, the, the scan will even warn you if you try, it'll say one floor, one floor, you know? Um, so no, we, if you're doing multiple floors, you do have to scan it multiple times. And then you, when you order them, you order them together and ask them to merge it. So that's a good question, Matthew. Um, 
as for and, and, and just to just to set expectations we will merge the file we send you what we won't merge together is that colorized scan so those will each be their own individual scan so we we don't merge that aspect of it uh but the chief file for example will be merged perfect um so but maybe if you're asking that question maybe because it's it has to do with how far can i go um, we have never had any issues with the apple devices crashing Sometimes getting slow, sure. I think as the if you're scanning a really, really large first floor, it will you will feel it slow down a little bit towards the end of that scan. But no, to this date, again, knock on wood, we have not had a scan shut down or crash ever um, due to the size, um, due to the size of the job. Um, the only thing I will say that you have to make sure of is that you have a at least a bar or two of an internet connection. If you don't have an internet connection or a mobile hotspot or, or access to the homeowner's Wi-Fi or maybe because you're still in framing mode or something and there's no Wi-Fi on site, um, that might be probably one of the strongest limitations to using the app is that you, you do need correct you, me. I, sorry, I don't mean to contradict you. You can scan without an internet account or internet access. You can't upload the scan until you have yeah. internet access. So we have a lot of customers who might be in a home that doesn't have electricity or doesn't have Wi-Fi. You can scan that. And then when you get back to your home or office, then upload it using your Wi-Fi there. There you go. Thank you for the uh, clarification. Um, but um, again, so then, again, it's just so when you see how much time that it saves, it just allows our designers to immediately go right into design mode. They don't have to worry about drawing that existing drawing to get started on their design because it's already done for us and they can immediately start deleting walls they can immediately start changing fixtures and getting into the fun part of the job which is the actual you know the actual design uh, so um th that's what i had if you have any questions about um, how we translate or the online versus the chief um if there's any business owners in the chat the only other couple of things i wanted to add is i do have a couple of hours um, so we do about 10 to 15 new leads a week is what we run here. Um, and I wanted to give you what a relative cost benefit is ever since we've launched Canvas. Um, the As far as final measures, that's where one of the biggest things that we've almost nearly almost eliminated 100% in this company. And it saves almost over a thousand hours. If you think about maybe an hour or less per final measure and you're say between five and 10 final measures a week, Oh, I assume 10 from final measures a week. Um, that's over a thousand hours that I now don't have to pay somebody to go out and final measure a job. Um, but the initial drafting is another huge benefit. So uh, I assumed two hours for an initial draft, especially at the level that Canvas is doing with all the switches, outlets, and all the extra details that they're adding. Um, if you think about a two hours per draft and you're saying, 10 or 15, 10 new drafts a week, that's almost 1,500 hours of initial drafting that we've saved. And so between initial drafting and final measures, I'm at 2,500 hours saved um, that I no longer have to pay someone for. And that's over a salary and a half, you know, um, doing 2,000 hours for a typical salary. Um, I'm just, I'm, I couldn't be more thankful. <laughs> Every time my Canvas bill comes in, I don't look at it as money out. I look at it as money not going out. I look at it as money saved. Um, and I, I think I think this is the future. I think everyone should be on Canvas. I think if more people were on Canvas, we could demand cooler features like outdoor landscaping and a whole bunch of other, maybe some Android support, you know, <laughs> if, if, if they ever decide to go that route, then um, I would love to see Canvas um, expand. And I can't wait to see what it leads for everybody else. Well, thank you so much. I think we can open it up to questions. Um, I wanted to answer Yael who asked, does there need to be specific lighting to ensure quality mapping? Um, yes and no. You, It doesn't need to be picture perfect, but you need to be able, if you can see the space, then we can see the space is sort of the way to think about it. So I know sometimes you may be in a potentially abandoned property or something that's being repurposed 
and there isn't electricity to the site. If there are windows that uh, can be open so that that light comes in, that'll work. Um, if you're in like a very dark attic, uh, you would want some sort of light source in there. Um, but it, it doesn't need to be like, you know, museum quality lighting to to get a good scan. And uh, thank you, James. I really appreciate uh, you weighing in and saying that Canvas is amazing. So I, I appreciate that. Did you see Matthew's question above that? So this scan was taken in one, where did it go? One go, not spliced together. We answered uh, that. You did, okay, I'm sorry, I was on a call, so I wanna make sure we didn't miss anybody. Okay, Cindy Murphy has one there. Can you see it, Ben, or you want me to read it to her? Can someone send you a scan from their iPad, uh, from their iPhone, and then you can upload it? Um, yes, and then there, so it's typically a feature that we offer to customers that are doing at least $10,000 a year with us. There are all, some challenges with that. And that is, while scanning is easy, there is some technique to it. So it can sometimes be, uh, uh, you know, a little risky having someone who, a homeowner scan, but that is something that's uh, uh, optional. Uh, you also, if you're comfortable, could share your login information with them, have them scan it and upload it, and then you can order it uh, from the portal. Basically, uh, that portal that Ted was showing you, once a scan is uploaded for colorization, you can then access it from any internet connected device. And so um, if you gave them your login information, they scanned uh and uh, then uploaded for colorization, which is free, you'll be able to see them here. Uh, oh, I think you've got the search on for Rose Lodge. Um, uh, then you'd be able to place the order. Uh, so that is an option. Uh, I know it's very popular with interior designers since they do a lot of e-design work, uh, but uh, it's something that we know that there is demand for and we're working on building more of a, a smooth pipeline for that. But if you are doing more than $10,000 a year in, in orders with us, I can introduce you to our business development team and we can talk about that or you can use that workaround I shared with you. Anyone else have some questions? I'm oh, sorry, I can't see them. No, I, I don't think so. Uh, oh. oh, here we go. <laughs> Jackie has one. Can you show one more time what type of files you get as the free scan? Is it just the gray and color blobby renders or is a line drawing render with dimensions included? There's no line drawing uh, with dimensions included. Um, what you can do is pull measurements from the scan itself as Ted will show you in a moment. Um, so this, I, this original scan, the main use I think that most people get out of it is just to make sure that you captured everything that you meant to. Yes. So you can see where there are holes and where there aren't. So that way you don't get back to your office and realize, oh, I forgot to scan this corner of the room. That's exactly I thought of the Flintstones when I saw this. <laughs> I like to say like you shave, you like uh, sprayed shaving cream over everything. Or <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I mean, the colorized this this portion like even if anything else if you're not going to want to pay for the as built maybe because you have different software or because you don't draw that way or it's not in your scope just having the this particular initial colorized scan that can do the measurements that are accurate because of that lidar the the cost of the iphone or the ipad is worth this in gold i mean what's your time worth you know how much time do you want to keep spending measurements when technology can do it for you? Uh, for the longest time, we've been dealing with, you know, like like Ben said, these laser or expensive cameras or whatever, and the LiDAR has just never been there. And But now that it is, now that Apple is putting it into their products, there's a mainstream product that anyone can go get and just, and it, it, obviously Canvas is capitalizing on that. And I think it's really clever. Yeah, and the fun thing I'll just add is we've actually been doing this before the LiDAR sensor was on the iPhones. We've been, Canvas has been around since 2016. We used to sell a piece of hardware you had to attach to your iPad. It took half an hour to calibrate. It was like $500. And as soon as Apple introduced the LiDAR sensor, we were like, we don't need to sell this anymore. We can just use their sensor. So that's uh, what we've done. 
Um, and then I just wanted to answer Lenny's question. Uh, if you miss something, do you have to go back and can you add it or do you have to start over? So unfortunately at this point, you do have to start over. You have the ability to pause a scan mid scan if you do get interrupted, but um, uh, that's one reason, you know, as I uh, mentioned, uh, you can break the scans up into smaller scans. So that way, if you do miss something, it's not like you have to scan the entire first floor again. You only have, you know, you could only scan the kitchen again or only another part of that space. Yeah, to get, I'll expand on that one, Ben, because especially when you guys are starting out, you might miss and you'll get better as it. I'll say the learning curve is extremely quick. But if you miss something, a good example is let's say you were scanning this kitchen and you, I don't know how you would, but you would might miss this peninsula for whatever reason you, you panned over it. And maybe you were on the ceiling when you were looking at it, not looking at the peninsula. And for whatever reason, the LIDAR didn't capture this peninsula sticking out. That, that would be, you would have to redo the scan. Um, on a side note, the plus is that it's go so fast. It shouldn't be that much. If a whole floor takes 10 minutes, oh no, you've wasted 10 minutes, not two hours. Uh, but if you miss a room, like let's say you're scanning this kitchen and you forgot to get this part right here, this this little foyer section, that's where you can just start a new scan and merge them together. Uh, as Ben said, you can't merge the color eyes together, but you could merge the the as belt together if you were ordering it. But otherwise, you would just have the two scans under that one uh, account. So let me see if I can find a good example of that. Um, I think Rose, the other one I had, Rose Lodge was like that, where there's multiple scans, but it's I think that was the one I just closed out actually. Um, it's the multiple scans, but it's all within the same uh, file or, or so like when you start, so I think when you go into Rose Lodge, here we go. No, I'm sorry, but if you had multiple scans, this is where you'd see them. You would see first floor, second floor, whatever it is that you're naming them if, if you do that, you would see those here. Anyone else, you can raise your hand or put it in the chat. I'm gonna also in the link uh, or in the chat, I'm dropping a link. Uh, I'll, I'll share a screen in a moment, but uh, if you would like, uh, I, I highly recommend booking a one-on-one -on -one demo. Obviously we were able to cover a lot in this, but here you can, they'll do a scan review. They'll sort of review your work and let you know how you're doing and give you feedback. Um, I highly recommend going through our new white glove process. It's free uh, and I think it uh, helps, you know, it's not that intimidating to learn a new technology like this, but I think it makes it a little bit less uh, intimidating than it already is. Um, uh, in terms of the merge uh, of the file, um, that's something we do for you. I mean, you can obviously take multiple files that we deliver and uh, if you use Chief or SketchUp, uh, combine those into a model, but we don't charge extra for it. So I don't know, uh, you know, I'm curious as to why you wouldn't want uh, us to do it. Uh, but we're, we're basically, when you go to check out, you want to have the, the way the app works, all the scans are organized in homes. So you want the scans to uh, be in the same home. And then when you go to place the order, it'll say, do you only want to order this scan or do you want to merge multiple scans? And then you basically go and select which scans you want to be included. Lenny said, I would want you to do it. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, we're happy. And back in the day uh, when we had that old piece of hardware, we did charge for merging. Now it's a lot easier. So uh, it's included in the price. All right. Anyone else? I don't know if... For those of you who have never actually used the app, I, I will emphasize of how easy it is to use it. It's like three buttons like you can't there's really no way to mess it up. So if you are a technology challenged person, I still <laughs> highly encourage you go get yourself an iPhone and try it. Um, I Thank can't you stress that. that enough. I know there are other, uh, you know, floor plan apps that as you go through this space, you have to tap and say, this is a door, this is a window, this is the corner. You don't have to do that. You just walk through the space with us and we do all the rest. Uh, and so as long as you typically, you know, follow those instructions I shared, we have some training videos on our website as well as in the app. Um, and uh, again, if you go through that uh, white glove process, um, 
definitely tell them you came, uh, for, you heard about us from the webinar. Uh, that way they'll ensure you get the right uh, credit. But um, that is Canvas. And uh, you know what? While you're done sharing your screen, I will share the uh, QR codes uh, as we wrap things up. Great. Right. Just do this. Perfect. So yeah, uh, again, I highly recommend booking that demo. So scan that QR code on the right with your phone for that. Um, if you think, oh, I learned enough in this and I just am eager to try it, uh, scan the one on the left and that'll download the app and uh, automatically apply that promo code. Uh, either way, you will get $100 in credit. So don't feel like you're missing one way or the other. Um, but, uh, I, uh, look forward to seeing your scans come through. I think that, uh, it's totally worth trying, even if you're skeptical, it's free. So scan a room in your own house and see, but, uh, hopefully Ted said enough to make you realize it's, it's not just me who's a proponent of it. Well, it's always nice to hear from someone that's not just the person selling the product, you know, Exactly. I get paid by them. So of course I'm going to say nice things, but of course the reason I roped Ted into this because um, <laughs> uh, I know an email had gone out about canvas and Ted replied to all basically saying, I use it and it's amazing. And I thought, well, let's, let's do this uh, since uh, he carries more weight than anything I can say. <laughs> no, I think it's great to tag team like that. Well, does anyone else have any questions last time going once going twice? Let me see if anybody's raising. Yes. All right. So this was fantastic. I thank you all for taking the time to join us. I thank you, Ben and Ted. Um, this is being recorded. I'm going to end the recording now if I can figure out how to stop recording.